hey guys welcome back to my channel today we're gonna be doing a requested video on a popular girl group blackpink and the subject today is going to be jenny kim aka jenny okay she so jenny was born january 16 1996 which makes her 25 years old as of today so we're going to do an energy check-in on jenny just to see how she's feeling what she's going through you know just to make sure she's okay because she's a friend of ours right so we're going to start the reading right now okay now the first thing that came out for miss jenny is this darn three of swords Okay, the three of swords represent broken heart, rejection, and pain. Because the right now she may be having a broken relationship that is weighing her down or is weighing very heavy on her heart. Okay, and she has this three of swords concerning a union. Okay, with someone that she believes is a true gem. Somebody that she believes that is, you know, is a great person. Somebody that's unique. Okay. Because um, she expressed her love, okay, it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, Jenny may have just took it among herself to go ahead and express her love to this person. And to who? To a mature man. She expressed her love to a mature man. Now, now, I have something to say about this, okay, because it really made me feel a certain type of way that her reading started off with a three of swords, which is a broken heart. And what I have to say about this is ladies, 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 ladies. What we cannot do when we're entering a new relationship is lead with our heart. And I know that may be hard to do because we as women are emotional creatures. Okay, so we are emotional, but what we need to start doing is learning how to lead with our intuition. Okay, we need to use our intellect when it comes to entering relationships and not our heart. Our heart should be the last thing we bring, and that's just the honest to God truth. Because a broken heart is the worst feeling in the world, and there's no medication, there's no prescription, there's no there's no doctor you can go to to heal this broken heart. It takes time, okay? And so, now, now that we know that, we need to make sure we shield our heart. Because a broken heart hurts, okay? It does not feel good. And it does not feel good to feel like we love someone who didn't love us back. But, well, we need to take responsibility for that. Because, did this person say they loved you? Or did you just take it amongst yourself to start expressing love to this person? And this person didn't even tell you that he loved you in the first place. We have to take accountability and responsibility for that. Okay? And I'm not trying to be harsh because when I'm speaking to you guys, I'm definitely speaking to myself and from past experience as well. Okay? Because we can't just go and, and on a date and be like, oh, he's so cute. You know, I can see myself marrying him. No, no, no. Because if he show up to the date with just cuteness, that's what you show up with, just cuteness, okay? You don't bring your heart. You, you bring your cuteness because if that's all he showed up with. Because um, it's, cause when we show up with our heart, it, it can easily be broken. And our heart is too fragile just to have it laying out there on the table, okay? It's too fragile. It's too precious. So please do not do that. Lead with your intellect. Lead with your intuition because we are into we are, we have the some of the best intuitions. But in order to be able to use our intuition, we actually have to be in tune with ourselves. We have to love ourselves enough to be able to lead with our intuition. So please learn to take a moment and just learn to love yourself so much and love your heart so much that you will use your intuition first when it comes to dating. And, and that comes to friendship and anybody, co-workers, anybody. Use your intuition, okay? Learn yourself first and protect yourself. And definitely protect your heart moving forward, okay? Because with this mature man, it's, he, he showed up as the king of summer, okay? It says that he is honorable, honorable devoted, mature, and warm-hearted. This is a romantic partner you can trust. Excellent advice that comes from the heart. Get involved in a in a creative endeavor, okay? Now, he may be honorable and devoted, okay? But 
uh, and he may he may at the end be a romantic partner that you can trust, but you know, but he also can be just showing up with somebody that he, that's trying to work with you and make money with you. Okay, because he does have wealth. Okay, he's very independent. Okay, this man is he's showing up as an independent man. Okay, but this independent card can also mean trapped in a mental whirlwind. Need to let go of emotions to allow feelings to express themselves. Okay, meeting up at his home. Okay, becoming too clingy, quick, emotional. Um, because he, he he may be the type of person that that's quick with his emotion, which means one minute he can be acting like he like you, but then he can act like he like the next female as well. So he can shoot his emotions anywhere and everywhere. Okay, because he may have he may be very friendly to to females. Okay, and he he finds in using his mind, not his heart. Okay, because with the ne negotiation card here, it's showing that time has has come to make a decision. Okay, and he may not be eat, he may not be the person that can make decisions very fast, or feel like he wants to make a decision, because he may have desire to please others, and he may also overpromise things to please people. Now he could have a strong, um, he could be. A strong person to marry and have a relationship with but did he tell you that did he let you know that's what he wanted with you okay allow him to be able to tell you that before you just jump to conclusion because he may be someone who can be that person but does he want to be that person with you okay but you know, and with this card it shows that he can also scheme and cause one to speculate about a partnership which can cause which, which can also wreck a good thing Okay, so he may be giving out this vibe because he is honorable. He may be mature, warm-hearted. So it can give the illusion that he is that way with just you. But he really can be that way with every woman that he meets. And so he can have many women that feel the same way about him. But does he feel the same way about these women? Okay, or you? Okay, that's what we need to know. And that's when our intuition come in. Okay. Because he can be a magician, okay? He can be a trickster, you know? He has what it takes to be able to trick women because you know, he may be the type of person that women want and he knows it, but she needs to keep an open mind, okay? Because her soulmate may differ from her usual type and her expectation, okay? Because with the dream time creation card, it's a time for her to start taking the time and knowing what she wants and creating what she wants. Whether it's in dream time or real life, she needs to start creating what she wants. Because with the queen, of, now she's showing up as the queen of summers, which is loving, comforting, emotional, intuitive. It says, listen to your heart. Intuition, insights that you can trust. Taking care of others perhaps too much. Yes. Okay. Now she needs to learn how to be, even though she's emotional, she still needs to learn how to lead with her intuition. Because if you love yourself, your intuition will not steer you wrong. Your intuition will let you know something not right here, sister. Okay. Leave your heart at the house. Don't bring it on this date. Okay. But you have to be one with yourself. Okay. So she's may be taking care of someone too much in a ro romantic love affair type of situation. But she's going to receive some enlightenment concerning this situation. Which is going to cause a five of hearts. I mean, a five of cups situation, which will leave her, you know, feeling sad and sorrow over the three cups that's, that's spilt here. She got three cups that's spilt here that she's sad over, but she just needs to turn around and realize that there's two cups still behind her. There's two cups there that she can still use and access. Okay. But she's uh, sad over spilled milk. Okay. And she's um, sad concerning some expectations that she had. Okay, we don't need to bring our hearts with expectations, honey. We need pure facts before our hearts enter the building. Okay, because she having some expectations and some thoughts that she thought this relationship was going to be concerning a companionship. Okay. Concerning a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. It says, honestly discuss your, your feelings with each other. Have a honest heart-to-heart -heart discussion, a conversation, okay? Because you see in this picture, this, this woman is having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this man, but he seems so uninterested, 
He seems like he's not even interested in the conversation. And whenever you start trying to have a conversation and you're asking the man a question, okay, and it can work, work both ways, okay, even for males, okay, but since this is Jane and Reed, I'm talking to females, okay. But when you're having a conversation, ask questions. Ask this man when was the last time he was in love? Have he ever been in love? Because if he tells you he never been in love, girl, don't bring your, your heart should not even enter the building. Because if a person is in their 30s and never been in love, that's a problem. Okay. You should have loved at least one human being on this earth. Okay. So, but she's trying to find balance. Okay. Right now. And she's looking at this, this person is looking at the clock. Trying to find balance in her life. Okay. And trying to gain control. Okay. Because the illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless. Being afraid to take action. Take responsibility for your life now, girl. Jenny, take responsibility for your life, honey. Don't allow nobody else to, to have control of your life. Okay? Yeah, because you are the driver. Don't let nobody drive your Porsche. Okay? Because they're not going to value it like you did. Because you worked hard for it. So, you don't let nobody take control of your life. You take control and take responsibility. You have a conversation. Don't be afraid to have a conversation about your life. Because if this person is in your life, you need to know why is he here. Okay? Because sometimes we women are too afraid to have conversation because we feel like we're going to push him away. Hey, if a conversation is going to push him away, let him go. Okay? Because when you let somebody who won't have a conversation with you concerning your life and their, um, and their role in your life, then that's how you end up leading with the three of swords, with a broken heart. Okay? So let's take control. Let's take control. Okay, because with the world card, it shows overseas trip, money, luck. The world is in the palm of your hands, new opportunities. But can she see them? Can she see those new opportunities? Okay, because you have to be able to see those opportunities and know they're there to be able to take advantage of them. Because she's brilliant. She's talented. She's independent. Okay, and there is nothing that she can't do. She just has to believe in herself. Never underestimate the ability to make your dreams come true. Because there is a need for balance between your career and your personal life. Okay. And so, you need to go in that hermit mode. You need to take time for yourself. And just yourself. Sometimes you got to cut the world off. You need to cut your social media off. When you're in hermit mode, you need to cut people off. And not a permanent thing. Okay. Because you're just taking care of yourself. That's just like if you broke your leg. In order to heal that leg... Sometimes you got to get off of the leg. Take pressure off that leg. Let that bone heal and fuse back together. And then you need to get up and start walking. Okay? There are steps to this. So the first step is to be, go into hermit mode. Focus on yourself so that you can actually hear your intuition. Okay? So you can actually hear the divine that's within you so that you can know when someone is good for you and bad for you. Okay? Because when you go in hermit mode and you love yourself so much, you would not allow somebody who do not love you to enter your life. You will keep them at a distance. So you need to be in tune with yourself. Okay? Because taking the next steps, you got to be bold and ambitious. Okay? And then you need to partner with people who share your same dreams. Because there are people out there who will have your back in a situation. Okay? Because the marriage card show up here. Which represents a marriage or a relationship or a partnership. Okay. Okay. So, Jenny is thinking about a marriage with somebody, a relationship with somebody that she has a lot of chemistry with. Okay. And it says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you got it to take. So, she uh, so she wants to make the effort in this relationship. Okay. With a Prince of Springs, a charming, self-confident, passionate person. So she needs to take immediate action. A challenge you can successfully manage. A passionate relationship. Okay. So she needs to make the effort to um to to love herself so that she can have this passionate relationship. Okay. Because with life experience, it says let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life changing event, a situation that leads to a significant opportunity. Because with life experiences you learn. Okay, there's there's no better teacher in life than life experiences. Okay, once you have that broken heart, you're not quick to go out there and give that heart to the next person. And sometimes you withdraw that heart 
and, and the next person may even be deserving of it, but it doesn't matter. You should not bring your heart to the table first because that heart is so fragile. Okay. So learn from life experiences and let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Okay. Because she wants freedom from all of the drama that's happening in her life. Okay. And people that's trying to get revenge against her. Okay. Or maybe the drama is causing her to want to get revenge. Because here's two people um, making love here. And there's somebody standing over them with a head. With revenge is causing her to act out. Concerning a disappointment situation that happened. Okay. Because this man is walking in and behind the door is, uh, it looks like it may be his, his wife with another man. So there's some disappointment that's happening in this relationship. Maybe some cheating. A lot of drama that's happening in this relationship. Okay, that's uh, causing her not to be uh, focused, causing her concentration to be off, and she's not even speaking of it, probably. She's not even speaking on the situation, okay, which may have caused, um, with this courthouse situation, which may have caused um, a breakup, okay. Maybe she wants justice in this situation, okay, because with the seven of winters, they said there is a better choice. Not seeing things clearly. Run away from the truth. She wants justice, but she may be ignoring some things that's going on. Okay, even though she see that this person is disappointing her, causing drama. Okay, she wants revenge, or this person may be getting revenge on her. Okay, but she's trying not to see it. Okay, she's playing the damsel. Okay, the damsel in distress. Okay, it says, understanding the nature of healthy romance inspire you to rely on yourself. Working, waiting for a night to provide for you. She may have some kind of um, seduction by romantic illusions. So, right now, the dancer card is showing that she is, she does not understand what a healthy relationship looks like. Okay, and she may be playing a damsel in distress. Okay, and which is allowing somebody to pretty much uh, pull the wool over her eyes. Okay, you know, in a, a re relationship that is not what it seems or what she think it is. Because with the two of albums card, it says bring fun back into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs, an exceptional talent for multitasking. Okay, but she needs to free herself from this situation. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay, because she wants to move forward. Okay, because with the sign card, it says plans that work out perfectly. Amazing ideas that lead to rewards and commit and commendations. Okay, and she's giving gratitude for the blessings that's happening in her life with the sign card. Okay, but there is still some deceptions that's going on. Someone is wearing a false mask in your relationship. Okay, but Jenny is being unable or, or unwilling to make a decision concerning this. Okay, she needs to follow her own heart rather than trying to make other people happy. Because right now she's pretending that there is not a problem. And she may even be overanalyzing the situation with this two of swords. But she needs to find her strength, her inner strength to be able to stand up and move forward. Because with the wheel card, it says there's going to be a, fr a fresh new start for her. The end, end delays that's happening. Okay? A positive change in her life. Which is going to cause her to move forward. Okay? She really does need to move forward. And she needs to start flirt with life. Okay? Extend her lighthearted energy to others. Okay? To someone who deserves it. Okay, and because she's trying to adapt to a situation that's full of a lot of manipulation, okay, a lot of deceit, somebody that she cannot trust, but, and she needs to cause an ending. It's going to be an ending to this situation, okay, because with the mystic card, it says she needs to revel in intimate union with the divine, which means she needs to learn how to um, connect with the divine goddess in herself, learn to love herself. Because right now she's having some delusions. Okay. But she really needs to learn to love herself first. Because your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first. 
please that is so important love yourself first come on jenny do it you can you can do this but she has to have patience and don't and don't worry about the situation she doesn't she just needs to take time to rest and plan her next step okay and invest in herself move forward with the journey card she needs to move forward okay and release herself let go of the past or anything that does not serve you okay stand on your principles okay because her principles may be a little twisted so she needs to unravel those things get it back together okay because this person standing here with a twisted stomach they need to get she needs to get it back together bring it back to the loving herself because if you don't love yourself you can't properly love anybody else and then you won't know when they when they are not loving you because you're not loving you you get it okay so she needs to start planting seeds for her future okay and she's being optimistic about it okay because it's, she needs to start speaking the language of love loving words to have power to change your life including your own okay because right now she's being cracked open okay she may be hitting rock bottom when it comes to her broken heart you see this person right here is torn in two but you see when she's opened up herself the divine is coming through so sometimes people need to hit rock bottom in order to to know that honey you can only move up from here okay and when you hit rock bottom it causes a crack okay and causing her to open up and see the goodness in her the divine goddess in herself okay it says understand your body because love is your energy have gratitude give thanks give thanks to what you have have gratitude for yourself even have gratitude for this life experience right now okay have gratitude for this broken heart too okay because you're going to learn from this broken heart because once you if, if anybody ever had a broken heart you're not quick to give that heart away the next time okay you got to be stingy with that heart people got to earn your heart okay and when you love yourself then you can start you can start using your heart for yourself okay your love goes to you first okay because she's going to have a rebirth okay with the iris card okay because she's not cracked right here she's back cold again and she's uh um, surrounded by divine light okay because look at her she's shining right now with inspiration okay and she's coming back to reconcile with herself okay she having a reconciliation with herself and her spirit guides her spirit guides are going to guide her through this okay going to guide her back to love that is so important but she needs to take accountability because it says responsibility is a gift of love to yourself and to others yes take accountability okay because if you gave your car, your heart to somebody um before you gave it to yourself that's your that's your that's your responsibility okay so you can't just blame this man for the cause of your broken heart you got to blame yourself because you the one gave it to him and he didn't even ask for it so that concludes the reading for Jenny. I really do wish the best for her. As you see, she's gonna get it together. Okay, it may she may have to hit rock bottom first to to get that. But guess what? She's gonna move forward and move up into love, and she's gonna learn herself, and she's gonna love herself. Okay, she's gonna come back to one with herself. Okay, but she has to take accountability for what has happened. Okay, and we all do. That's life okay that's that's called life experience on this earth okay so that concludes the reading i want to thank you so much for tuning in if you like this reading hit the thumbs up that lets me know that you know i should continue to do these type of readings for you guys because uh, i want my readings to be entertaining but also uh, a message okay that we all can take from it not just you not just me not just jenny we all can take a message from this reading okay we can take accountability for what we do in our life because that's only going to make us better and we need to lead with love okay so um you also want to subscribe to this channel because i'll be putting out a lot of hot videos here okay and i usually put them out at least five to seven times a week it depends on um my spirit guides okay so 
I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.